guys, today I'm going to tell you my wonderful experience of a 47-day community service in Majlis Sukan Negeri Pulau Pinang. Majlis Sukan Negeri Pulau Pinang, also known as the Penang State Sports Council, is the organization under the Penang State Government that nurtures the athletes into their better selves. Its vision? To generate disciplined and high-performing national athletes to ensure that the overall development of Penang State sports is always at the forefront in line with the national sports policy which focuses both high-performance sports for medals and glory and sports for all including the special ability for your health and unity work, the four units in this organization work together. The administrative and finance unit functions to manage the administrative operations, coordination of community-based sports programs and financial affairs of the organization. The sports development operation unit plans and implements coaching, personnel and sports development programs in Penang State. My neighboring unit the coaches unit handles everything related to the coaches of every sport. Last but not least, my unit, Sports Science and Sports Medicine Unit. Sports Nutrition, Sports Rehabilitation, Sports Physiotherapy and Sports Psychology. We are the health professionals in this organization. Working under this unit, I have gained the practical experience of nutritional consultation, body composition assessment, nutritional talks for staffs and athletes, and doing research projects towards their food intake and water intake. Penang State Sports Council, the staffs are friendly. Everybody treats others like brothers and sisters. And working under sports development services, the staffs are health conscious too. We eat healthy foods, we keep the gym together every day. We have aerobic exercises every Fridays. We join the trainings with the athletes sometimes. And under this exposure, I was influenced too. In University Science Malaysia, sports nutrition is not taught in dietetics and nutrition program. Therefore, exposure to the nutritional consultation helps me to recognize the differences between the dietary needs of average people and athletes. We learned dietetic counseling and communication skills in the class. The practical sessions are definitely the one needed to enhance this skill. We learned nutritional assessment that is important in every sector of dietetics and nutrition. I am lucky to utilize it during my mini research project and body composition assessment session for athletes. Not to mention the importance of food science, principles of food preparation, principle of nutrition, nutrition for health and fitness, nutrition in life cycle, anatomy and physiology, which helped me a lot during my nutritional education. Because this is the basic to give simple and wonderful explanations. The task that I enjoy the most is the nutritional talks. Why? That's why. I researched a lot of journals and articles when preparing for the talk, which makes me gain and refresh the knowledge. Then, I learned how to communicate with staffs or athletes of different ages, ethnicity, and different sports, different settings, 
using different educational materials like online games, boats, infographics, food plates, and food carts. From this infographic, I get the feedback from athletes too. Uh, I think it would be better if you put like main points and put some pictures so that we could have like easier understanding to it. But the most important, I gained friendship and created memories with these people during the nutritional talks. If there isn't a chance for me to fulfill my community service at here, I would have been fed instead of friends. I would have great calories instead of memories. I would have eaten memes instead of dreams. But is it all the way happy during my community service? Yes, yes it is, but nothing is easy for me. Time and rest challenges. Staying in mainland but working in the island is challenging for me. I have to go for work very early and return home very late. In some occasions where we have events, I left my house as early as 4.30 a.m. At some occasions where I work on my research project, I reached home as late as 9.30 and I worked on weekends sometimes as well. Physical Location Challenges During the 47-day internship, I had to go to different places for nutritional assessment and thought. Restrictions, restrictions, restrictions. Does this community service worth my time and effort? Yes, it worth because sports nutrition and clinical nutrition is definitely distinctive. Papers and theories teaches about the principles but serves as an intern here. I gain the real exposure, experience that will help me a lot not only how to counsel and communicate, how to do nutritional assessments, and also how different people talk and react. If I had a chance to serve as a sports dietitian, I would definitely going to have a try again. Journey ends, but impact does not. This place had impacted me a lot to become a better person. And I hope that one day, I can impact people to their better versions too. To achieve that, I will try my very best and never give up. Success and opportunity are always open to people, to earn them by effort, but not by luck. Because whatever feels to work hard, hard work, with talents. See you next time. Because when talent feels to work hard, oh, work.